hello everybody welcome to another tutorial with me this time i want to do something totally different i'm getting ready for um starting a new project so it's going to be uh these books and um, right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my all glue a thick brush and a ruler so what i'm going to do is i am going to keep few of the pages that I might think that I'm going to like and I'm going to turn a few of them out. I mostly want to keep the letters and I like this book because they have large letters which is nice and I'm going to glue three four pages together to prepare it for yeso. So let's get together, let's have fun. All right, so now that I have my canvas ready on the book, I glue three, four pages on each other. It's pretty, uh, pretty hard now, so it's good for my gesso. And I'm gonna apply my gesso just to get my canvas ready. And again, I'm doing this because I have a project in mind and a project involves books, uh, books, graphites, graffitis, uh, mark, booking marks and abstract all together. It's gonna be pretty interesting. So I hope you stick around to see what i'm all about and for you who are new to my channel thank you so much for being here you are gonna love it i always upload videos of things that come to my mind and i'd love to share with you guys all right so i'm gonna get so just two pages at a time because i don't want them to get glued together to the other pages so this is what i'm doing right now and then once it's dry i am going to apply my paint right now i'm just using pastels and i'm making marks right now i'm not thinking because remember most of these marks will get covered anyways and now i'm going to use my carbon black from fluid acrylics and I have this brush that is very dry and hard so it would be perfect to do different lines and what I'm trying to do doing all these sketches is trying to figure out what I want to do for my next project so I want to find an idea and go from there and see what else I want to do. But it definitely involves a lot of colors, not only black and white, but I'm going to start this way because I feel that it helps me to figure out my next composition, if that makes sense, my next idea. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. I am going to spray a little bit over here with my spray bottle just to create lines and different effects. And then we're gonna let this dry very, very well before we get into our next stage. All right, so now I'm gonna use the tool that I made from Home Depot and I'm gonna use some ink and I'm gonna see where it takes me. Tiny bit. And I'm gonna spread it on my paint. I'm gonna do a little bit on this side. And 
And again, why I'm using the ink when it dries so fast? The reason why is because I want it to dry very fast. So now I'm gonna use some ink. And I'm just gonna, you know, do my marks and play around with it. Remember, this ink will spread once you put a little bit of water, but for now, I don't want to put the water, I just want to do the marks. All right, so I just decided to add one more. So I am going to put it right in here. And I'm using this soft gel to apply it. Okay, and the soft brush. I'm gonna put a little bit more because it might buckle a little bit. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of my acrylic soft gel uh, and I'm gonna move things around again. Okay. I'm gonna get my white on my needle bottle. I'm going to do some lines just to make the painting interesting. I'm going to come this way and then I'm going to do one more here and two more here. I'm going to bright this green over here with the blue. Maybe I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm going to use a different brush just to make the marks a little bit different from the rest of my collage. Like okay, it's a very large one and I am not pressing too hard, but definitely I'm adding some stuff happening in here. Put a little bit of my white splatter, just like this. This time I'm gonna use a pencil so the lines are a little bit Thinner. And I'm gonna just put more of my black in. Okay. I don't know what I'm creating, but I like what I'm seeing. And I'm trying to be free. Let's just do a little bit drip there. I like that much better. Awesome. Yay. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm loving everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next project.